Shabbat Shalom. Good morning, YouTube. Today we are again reading out of our Bible. I am using a translation called the Scriptures. Please feel free to read whatever version you have, and please read along. Don't take my word for this. Read it for yourself. So, grab your coffee, grab your Bible, and let's read. Today we are starting in Deuteronomy chapter 7. When Yahweh your Elohim brings you into the land which you go to possess, he shall also clear away many nations before you, the Hittites and the Gershonites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahweh, your Elohim, gives them over to you, you shall strike them and put them under the ban completely. Make no covenant with them, and show them no favor. And do not intermarry with them. You do not give your daughter to his son, and you do not take his daughter for your son. For he turns your sons away from following me, to serve other mighty ones. Then the displeasure of Yahweh shall burn against you and promptly destroy you. But this is what you do to them. Break down their slaughtered places and smash their pillars, and cut down their asherim, and burn their carved images with fire. For you are a set-apart people to Yahweh your Elohim. Yahweh your Elohim has chosen you to be a people for himself, a treasured possession above all the peoples on the face of the earth. Yahweh did not set his love on you, nor choose you, because you were most numerous than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But because of Yahweh loving you, and because of him guarding the oath which he swore to your fathers, Yahweh has brought you out with a strong hand and ransomed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim. And you shall know that Yahweh your Elohim, he is Elohim, the trustworthy El, guarding covenant and loving covenant for a thousand generations with those who love him and those who guard his commands, but repaying those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He does not delay to do so with him who hates him. He repays him to his face. And you shall guard the command and the laws and the right rulings which I command you today to do them. And it shall be because you hear these right rulings and shall guard and do them that Yahweh your Elohim shall guard with you the covenant and the loving commitment which he swore to your fathers. And shall love you and bless you and increase you. And shall bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain and your new wine and your oil the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock, in the land of which he swore to your fathers to give you. Blessed are you above all peoples. There is not going to be a barren man or a barren woman among you or among your livestock. And Yahweh shall turn away from you all sickness and put on you none of the evil diseases of the Mitzrayim, which you have known, but he shall put them on all those who hate you. And you shall consume all peoples whom Yahweh your Elohim is delivering over to you. Your eyes shall not pardon them, and do not serve their mighty ones, for that is a snare to you. When you say in your heart, These nations are greater than I, I am unable to drive them out. Do not be afraid of them. Remember well what Yahweh your Elohim did to Pharaoh and to all Mitzrayim. The great trials which your eyes saw, and the signs and the wonders, the strong hand and the outstretched arm, by which Yahweh your Elohim brought you out. Yahweh your Elohim does so to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. And Yahweh your Elohim also sends the hornet among them until those who are left, who hide themselves from you, are destroyed. Do not be afraid of them, for Yahweh your Elohim, the great and awesome El, is in your midst. And Yahweh your Elohim shall drive out those nations before you, little by little. You are not allowed to destroy them at once, lest the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. But Yahweh your Elohim shall deliver them over to you and destroy them with a great destruction until they are consumed. And he shall give their sovereigns into your hand, and you shall destroy their name from under the heavens. No one is going to be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The carved images of their mighty ones you are to burn with fire. Do not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourselves, lest you be snared by it. For it is an abomination to Yahweh your Elohim. And do not bring an abomination into your house, lest you be accursed like it. Utterly loathe it, and utterly hate it, for it is accursed. So, just a reiteration of the promise that 
your girl go out and kick some butt because he is with you. Chapter 8. Guard to do every command which I command you today, that you might live, and shall increase and go in, and shall possess the land of which Yahweh swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that Yahweh your Elohim led you all the way these forty years in the wilderness to humble you, prove you, to know what is in your heart, whether you guard his commands or not. And he humbled you, and let you suffer hunger, and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, to make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of Yahweh. Your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these forty years. Thus you shall know in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so Yahweh your Elohim disciplines you. Therefore you shall guard the commands of Yahweh your Elohim to walk in his ways and to fear him. For Yahweh your Elohim is bringing you into a good land, a land of streams, of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you eat bread without scarcity, in which you do not lack at all, a land whose stones are, are iron and out of whose hills you dig copper. And you shall eat and be satisfied, and shall bless Yahweh your Elohim for the good land which he has given you. Be on guard, lest you forget Yahweh your Elohim by not guarding his commands and his right rulings and his laws which I command you today. Lest you eat and shall be satisfied, and build lovely houses, and shall dwell in them. And your herd and your flocks increase, and your silver and your gold are increased, and all that you have is increased." that your heart then becomes lifted up, and you forget Yahweh your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage, who led you through the great and awesome wilderness, fiery serpents and scorpions and thirst, where there was no water, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna which your fathers did not know, in order to humble you and to try you, and do you good in the end." And then shall say in your heart, My power and the strength of my hand have made for me this wealth. But you shall remember Yahweh your Elohim, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, in order to establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is today. And it shall be, if you by any means forget Yahweh your Elohim, and follow other mighty ones and serve them and bow yourselves to them, I have warned you this day that you shall certainly perish." Like the nations which Yahweh is destroying before you, so you are to perish, because you did not obey the voice of Yahweh, your Elohim. Once again, we have another warning of, don't forget who gives you everything. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget the covenant that was made between you and the Father. Or he'll wipe you off the face of the earth like he does the other ones. Chapter 9. Hear, O Israel, you are passing over the Yarden today to go in to dispossess nations greater and stronger than yourself, cities great and walled up to the heavens, a people great and tall, the descendants of the Anakim, who you know and whom you heard it said, who does stand before the descendants of Anak? And you shall know today that Yahweh your Elohim is he who is passing over before you as a consuming fire. He does destroy them and subdue them before you. So you shall dispossess them and destroy them quickly as Yahweh has said to you. Do not think in your heart after Yahweh your Elohim has driven them out before you, saying, Because of my righteousness, Yahweh has brought me in to possess this land. But it is because of the wrong of these nations that Yahweh is driving them out from before you. It is not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart that you go in to possess their land, but because of the wrong of these nations that Yahweh, your Elohim, drives them out from before you. In order to establish the word which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and you shall know that Yahweh, your Elohim, is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember, do not forget how you provoked the wrath of Yahweh, your Elohim in the wilderness. From the day that you came out of the land of Mitzrayim until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Yahweh. Even in Horeb you made Yahweh wroth, so that Yahweh was enraged with you to destroy you. 
when I went up into the mountains to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant which Yahweh made with you. Then I stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I did not eat bread, nor did I drink water. Then Yahweh gave me the two tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim, and on them were all the words which Yahweh had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to be at the end of the forty days and forty nights that Yahweh gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. Then Yahweh said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you brought out of Mitzrayim have acted corruptly. They have quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded image. And Yahweh spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and look, they are a stiff-necked people. Leave me alone, so that I destroy them, and blot out their name from under the heavens, and make of you a nation stronger and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire, and the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked and saw that you had sinned against Yahweh your Elohim, and had made for yourselves a molded calf. You had quickly turned aside from the way which Yahweh had commanded you. And I took the two tablets and threw them out of my two hands and broke them before your eyes. And I fell down before Yahweh, as at the first forty days and forty nights I did not eat bread and I did not drink water, because of all your sins which you committed in doing evil in the eyes of Yahweh to provoke him. For I was afraid of the displeasure and the rage which Yahweh was wroth with you to destroy you. But Yahweh listened to me that time once more. And Yahweh was very enraged with Aaron to destroy him. So I prayed for Aaron at that time also. And I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire and crushed it and ground it very small until it was a fine as dust. And I threw its dust into the stream that came down from the mountain and at Taborah, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatawa, you made Yahweh wroth. And when Yahweh sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the mouth of Yahweh your Elohim, and you neither trusted him nor listened to his voice. You have been rebellious against Yahweh from the day that I knew you. So I fell down before Yahweh the forty days and forty nights, for I fell down because Yahweh had said he would destroy you. And I prayed to Yahweh and said, O Master Yahweh, do not destroy your people and your inheritance, whom you have ransomed in your greatness, whom you have brought out of Mitzrayim with a strong hand. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do not look at the stubbornness of this people, or on their wrong, or on their sin, lest the land from which you brought us should say, because Yahweh was not able to bring them to the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to kill them in the wilderness. And they are your people and your inheritance, whom you brought out by your great power and led by your outstretched arm. So, it's like, it's really making a point here of these other peoples are not being destroyed because you are better than them. It's not because you are good. It's because they are just that bad. Um, because you have also, like, come this close to being wiped out several times. Just since you left Egypt. Um, because they were constantly disobeying or grumbling, complaining. They are stiff-necked people. And he's reminding them of that. He's like, this is not because you are awesome. This is because he is awesome and they are just that bad. But that is the end of the reading for today. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you join us again next Saturday. May the Father bless you. Shalom.